Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Looky, looky. And I'm going fishing, so we're out of here. Well, we are on our way out to the outer islands and look what I see. Nice, pretty rain barrel, I think. Hmm. I don't want to pick it up now. Might be worthwhile to come back. Looks pretty good condition. So, I'll try to remember to come back. Ah, we made it to this raging river over here. Let's see if there's anything around. Oh, oh, golly! Whoa! That was pretty awesome. <laughs> I think he wanted it. Oh, come on, baby. I want ya. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Got him. Don't come off. Stay on there. He's not happy. Not happy. <laughs> uh oh, holy oh, low, low, no. Big shark, big shark. Yeah, get out of there. Get on those flats. Don't fall in. Can't see where he's at. Oh, he's way over there. I think we're okay. It's probably hard for them to pick up the struggling in this raging river here. Just want to see ya. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, back this way. Nice. Get in some calmer water would be good. Ugh. Turn me. Bad angle. Nice. Oh, oh, don't shake your head. That was a big shark. Now watch out for that dude. This is a nice cuda here. Hit the stubby cuda tube. I don't know if it's that same one that skyrocketed is in that same area. Oh, I see. I think those are more kudas. Pretty sure that was another cuda. We're in the Kuda Zone! Right there, what are those? Those better not be permit. Those are permit! Those are permit right there! Oh, look at more permit! No! <laughs> Greedy Steve! Uh, oh. Lose my fingers if I don't pay attention. Oh, those permit are there! They love this raging current stuff. I've seen forks. I knew it. Dang it. Can I see dark stuff there? I don't think. As long as there's not the sharks. Just looking at these dark spots. All right, let's take care of this guy. Ooh, he's a bruiser. He don't look happy. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. All right, fast hands, fast hands. Trebles and big teeth. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. I'm gonna release you. Yeah, flip over. 
Perfect, perfect. Oh, 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 no, no, it's just your head. That was just the kayak. No, 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 no. Fast hands. No, no, no. Stay. Watch the thumb. Watch the sharks. Dang! All right. All right, let's release this guy because there are other species around here that I want to play with. Oh, he was stuck. His mouth is stuck shut is why. Oh, he mangled that. Get this there we go. Oh. Boom! <laughs> Revive this guy here. Oh. oh, get out of here. Nice, 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 nice. Where'd the permit go? See what there is, there's kind of a peninsula that jets out, goes, and there's kind of a corner here, and then it makes a 90 degree back this way. But right at that corner there, there's an opening where the um, current is busted through it, so it funnels water right through here so it's like a raging river right in this slot here i know those kudas love it and i know those permit hang out here because it's just sit there wait for food to come by so i need to kind of get back up and do another drift down or stay off to the side and cast into it just like a river fishing for a uh, salmon or trout i'll throw around here a few times because you never know this treble hook is all jacked up, but that's okay. All right, so you can see here's that river edge. Do a cuda tube. See if there's anything sitting around here. Ooh, that just looks so appetizing. Oh, I'm a little needle fish. Got washed away from the uh, the flats. Hopefully there's no big toothy kudas here going to eat me. Let's fish this little cut here. See where it's kind of a smooth water. I mean it's kind of deeper. Oh, there we go. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 he's a spinner. Oh, there's two of them. Ah, little guys, but good fighter. Oh, oh, give you a little drag there. Unhappy camper. One cast. One fish. They're just sitting inside this pool here. I bet you there's a bunch of them. All right, I don't want to have anything to do with you. So I'm going to use my long sticks. Come here. Come hither. Relax. I don't want to touch your stinky face. Don't jump. Just don't jump. Stop. Yeah, this treble is jacked up. There you go. Noise. There might be another one in that corner that's not affected. Throw it over there. We got ourselves some action, Jackson. Ooh. Nope. 
Here's my aquarium spot. You can see all the sharks. One, two, three, four. Shark sharks. Lots of stuff around here. I'm looking for pilchards. There's more sharks. I was hoping to find pilchards, but if not, I'll do another go around with the CUDA tube, see if there's any CUDAs, and then I haven't seen anything else. Um, I'd be kind of surprised if I seen any tarpon out here. Uh, there's not even any mangrove snappers, grunts, or anything uh, because of the chill factor on the water, so not expecting much, but oh, there's a CUDA there. But I'll go around, take a look, and then uh, maybe go to that peninsula flats area and keep an eye out for permit since they're not so cold water shy as well. Oh, the one just smacked it right there. Not very big one. Snuck up on me. I had great visibility. I didn't even see him hit it. He must have been just sitting right underneath there. Oh, he's not a bad sized one. Kind of looking for permit around here. I think that's going to kind of kill that. Yeah, not too bad. Not bad at all, cooters. Cooter McCooters. A lot of action today. Oh, I was saying, I'm looking out for sharks. I almost let them get eaten right there. Because of all those sharks around here. We need to chill, bro. Alright. Nope, don't, don't, nope. Relax. Fast hands, fast hands, fast hands. Let's get this guy out of the water. Ah. There we go. Cooter tubes for the win on a cold Florida Keys day. Well, actually, it's not that cold. It's in the 70s. It's warming up. Warming up. Oh, this is where this is where you get stabbed, Steve. Be careful. Still wound up, that trouble's there, my fingers by his mouth. <laughs> I guess with all these kudas, today's video is brought to you by kudatube.com or I guess allaboutthebait.com. Either one will work. Get yourself a kuda tube. This is the uh, All About the Bait Stubby. It's a three quarter size classic kuda tube uh, with a larger size tube. I also have the baby tube, which is a smaller diameter. But uh, great action, use it for uh, throwing on these lighter rods. I'm using the uh, Esky 12 pound rod, which is like a medium weight. Uh, 30, 40 pound leader, probably 30 pound leader. Uh, you gotta have a good, sh a strong leader because that initial hit, initial run is pretty stiff. You don't need to add any wire because the tube is made out of wire. So not too much of a worry there. And then I think I've got probably 15 pound braids on it. So. Um, I do uh, probably I'd say an average like a medium drag set but as soon as I get the hit hook set hook set hook set loosen the drag and just make sure you keep a bow on the rod otherwise they'll shake their head 
and shake the uh, the hooks out. So you gotta always have the bend regardless. Um, the lighter drag is so that you don't get uh, their head shake or that another run which will pop your line or your knots. So it gives them a little bit of leeway. Uh, you tend to be on the flat, so they're not really not going anywhere. They're not diving into cover. So it's just a matter of letting them run, but keep that rod tip bent. So there you go. Tips from kudatube.com. Uh, we're back at the river. Let's see if there's anybody willing to play. Ooh, I need to check my drag. Got weeds. Weeds not good. Yeah, drag bad. Here comes, here comes. Oh, got him. Oh, shoot. Shoot kebabs. Shoot kebabs. Cracker old God. He was getting close, so I, I stopped. And I let it sink, and he just grabbed the end of it. Oh, he's a good one, too. Oh, I just barely had him. Golly. Alrighty, I think I'm going to call it uh, out here at least. A lot of sun left, a lot of daylight left, but uh, as soon as I hit the island, checked out a few spots, and there was just no mangroves, no grunts, no bait fish, nothing along those edges, I pretty much know that the inshore bite is just going to be nil. So uh, basically either because of the wind the last couple of days, or probably in combined with the cold water temps, uh, everything kind of scooted out to deeper water so really nothing worthwhile except for the kudas which I'm doing pretty good with um, the permits they gave me two shots and I blew them both generally you don't get three shots and this in and out of the sun is driving me nuts so I think I'm gonna go back to that island check out that uh, drum and see if it's in good condition uh, I want to build the Key West kayak fishing strate strategic gas reserves so I want a, a nice 20, 30 gallon uh, tank. So that might work out. And then I might hit the uh, um, that inshore peninsula I've done a video about on the way back in and uh, see if there's any kudas around there. But otherwise, I think really what these guys are doing out here, you might see a few boats, is basically anchoring out in the chum in the channel, chumming and then targeting like the mackerels and stuff. Uh, the uh, big tarpon should be rolling in here February, the beginning of the big run. Uh, so those should be coming through. But I think these guys are primarily just going after mackerel. So let's head on in. There's my baby. Oh, if it has a lid, that's the most important part. Got to have a lid. Doesn't look like it has a... Oh, yep, it does. Oh, there looks like possibly a hole. That wouldn't be good. All right. Only one way to tell. Ugh. Walk through the goo. Oh, it's got a lid. I don't know about that puncture hole there. Oh. I see a hole. Dang it. There's a hole right here. Yep, there's a hole right there as well. Shoot. That was like someone stuck a knife in it. Ah, oh, this would have been perfect. Dang. 
This is the perfect size too. Oh, the bung is still good. I'll take this cap. I can use that. Dang. That one there, one right there. I could plastic weld it, I guess, but it's gonna have pressure because of the gas line. Bottom's good. Ah, bombers! It'd be a good rain barrel, but I don't need a rain barrel. Oh, looks like, is that the same hole? Yeah. Just those two dang holes. That blows. Oh wells. That would have been perfect. That's probably like a 30 gallon. 40 gallon. Oops. Hey, I want that. 30, 40 gallon. Sad. There we go. Right by the launch. Hail Mary. Oh, keep that rod bent, keep the rod bent. Hit it hard. Look at the skinny water he was in. Can't do anything, it's too skinny. Oh. There we go, settle down, boy. Settle down. Oh, he got shoulders. Coup de fun right by the boat launch. Almost a Hail Mary. It's got plenty of sunlight. Oh, I'm getting into the skinnies. Yeah, this is the shallow water I caught him in. Nice. Nice one. You gotta come on this side though, buddy. Come on this side. There we go. Not let you go. Hit the brakes. Oh no, oh no. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, this is gonna be bad. There it goes. The Hail Mary Scooter. Fun for you and your family. Cue the tubes. There it goes. Be off with yourself. <laughs> In defeat. He's all, what the hell happened? Nice! That's what you're looking for. Good bonefish practice. Hit it again. Hit it again. Did he learn his lesson? Yeah, he did. Alrighty, we are done. Packed up and loaded. Sun's still high, but hey, I caught enough fish. I'm happy. <laughs> Great day out there. Super fun. Uh, you can't beat cuda tubing. I mean, on days like this, when I know the conditions aren't going to be very good for inshore fishing and I didn't feel like bringing out the big anchor and chum and try to catch bait and all that stuff, I just wanted to come out here, bend a rod, get a lot of action, catch some big toothy critters, so get that uh, adrenaline going. Kuda tubing is it, but uh, if you need any Kuda tube, Kuda tube accessories, uh, www.kudatube.com or allaboutthebait.com. I've got the biggest selection in the world. But otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.